Stop. Watch Primer Fields 1 through 3 now if you haven't. Rewatch series to really grasp all the topics. If new to the series, watch from the beginning. This wisdom is for everyone. Pass on what you will learn. Part 23 The Electromagnetic Plasma Catastrophe and the Two Skies on the Flat Earth. Plasma's Magnus Opus. Warning. If you cling to any religious belief system, do not go any further. Your worldview will be shattered from the real truth. You have been warned. What you just watched was the hell week of the seven days of creation in Genesis, beginning with one sky, then the plasma catastrophe with the elaborate plasma formations, and ending with the new sky. Direction of flow downward causes one sky. Direction of flow changes, plasma arcs in majestic patterns. For seven days, the plasma causes havoc on everything. Direction of flow is now upward and creates a different movement and pattern of plasma flow for a new sky. How is it possible to see two different skies, the blue sky which we are currently in and the red sky which we are heading into? Again, the answer is always simple, the right hand rule of electricity. When the light is coming down towards us or the surface of the flat plane, the plasma and the focal point will travel from east to west. The light will illuminate from the top down, hence we will be only seeing the light. The best analogy is someone standing at the edge of a forest at night and is shining a flashlight at you standing in a grassy clearing. You as the observer will only see the point of light because there is nothing the light is illuminating. So you will only see the light and nothing else. That is what we are currently in, the blue sky. When the changeover of direction of flow occurs during the catastrophe, then the light is coming up from below us or the surface of the flat plane and also around our dome. The plasma and the focal point will travel from west to east. The light will illuminate from the bottom up, then all the objects above will be illuminated by the light and will be seen by everyone because the objects will no longer be hidden by the direction of light. So back to the analogy, if you are still standing in the grassy clearing and now you have the flashlight and shining it on the person standing at the edge of a forest at night. You as the observer will now see everything the light is illuminating, the ground, grass, forest, person, etc. From your vantage point, your light illuminates everything in its path. All the solid objects become revealed and are no longer hidden. 
That was the previous sky to our current blue sky and will be the new red sky after the change of directional flow during the catastrophe. So through art history, you can determine what sky they were in by what the artist depicted because it is exactly what they witnessed. People, it's time for you to learn how recent the last changeover event was. Please go to Philip Drusizen's channel and watch his series on the mud flood. Link will be in the description. So how did the ancients describe and record the electrical plasma events they witnessed during the catastrophes? The plasma was deified and called gods in all cultures. The ancients feared the plasma gods because of the devastation it brought. The plasma was described and depicted by the ancients as gods, people, heroes, saviors, hair, birds, wings, feathers, snakes, arms, hands, etc. A close-up picture of the plasma center. The Greeks, Medusa. Plasma. One dared not look at Medusa or they would be turned to stone. That is actually true, and I will get to that later in the series. The Mayans, Quetzalcoatl, the feathered or plumed serpent. Plasma. The Hindus, Kali. Kali, the multi-armed goddess, is a fearful fighting figure with a necklace of heads, skirt of arms, lolling tongue, and brandishing a knife dripping with blood. Plasma. The Hebrews. The burning bush Moses spoke with in the book of Exodus. Exodus 3 2 King James Version. And the angel of the Lord appeared unto him in a flame of fire out of the midst of a bush. And he looked, and behold, the bush burned with fire and the bush was not consumed. Plasma. Yeah, people, Exodus is the story of the plasma changeover catastrophe, and the Lord in that book was just a plasma in the sky, burned but was not consumed. Plasma. Now, are you starting to see no belief is safe from the real truth. As the changeover occurs, the plasma takes multiple forms, but here is the one the ancients recorded as a two-pointed Vajra or the thunderbolt of the gods. Two-pointed Vajra with four plasma arms. Plasma. Two-pointed Vajra with eight plasma arms.
plasma. Zeus holding a thunderbolt or two-pointed Vajra plasma structure. Plasma. Hey, Zeus and two-pointed Vajra Thunderbolt with wings or plasma rotating around central Z-pinch. Plasma. Do you see the two-pointed Vajra in the right hand of the figure at the very top in the center of the clouds? Plasma. The ancients all over the flat plain warned future generations through art, myths, folklore, legends, traditions, stories, and writing. That is what the controllers know and the masses don't. Your true history. And if you think electrical plasma is just a harmless state of matter, then you are in for a rude awakening on Christmas of 2000 blank blank. Mr. Too Tough 2 video on electrical plasma arcing. Link will be in the description. Next video, part 24, electromagnetic plasma destruction on the flat earth. Please share, like, and subscribe. All videos are broken down by topics so you can reference back to them when needed. So many topics to cover so we only have time to give you the answers and some examples. Homework will be required of you if you want to verify or dig deeper on an individual topic. Thank you.